In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who instructs the hearts of your faithful, with the light of your Holy Spirit, make us responsive to his inspirations so that we may be truly wise and even rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Day 10 Who are you, O Immaculate Conception? Part 2 So the Holy Spirit is the uncreated Immaculate Conception and Mary is the created Immaculate Conception. Why not make it easier and just say that the Holy Spirit is the Immaculate Conception and Mary was immaculately conceived? Again, it's all because of Lutz. Blame St. Bernadette. In all seriousness, we should thank both St. Bernadette and St. Colbe profusely because their fidelity to grace is now opening up for us a glorious truth that undergirds the whole theology of Marian consecration. This truth has to do with the union between the Holy Spirit and Mary. Kolbe explains this in a passage that is long and difficult but incredibly rich and deserving of deep reflection. What type of union is this between the Holy Spirit and Mary? It is above all an interior union, a union of her essence with the essence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit dwells in her, lives in her. This was true from the first instant of her existence. It was always true. It will always be true. In what does this life of the Spirit in Mary consist? He himself is uncreated love in her, the love of the Father and of the Son, the love by which God loves himself, the very love of the Most Holy Trinity. He is a fruitful love, a conception among creatures made in God's image, the union brought about by married love is the most intimate of all. For reference, please see Matthew chapter 19, verse 6. In a much more precise, more interior, more essential manner, the Holy Spirit lives in the soul of the Immaculata, in the depths of her very being. He makes her fruitful from the very first instant of her existence all during her life and for all eternity. This eternal immaculate conception, which is the Holy Spirit, produces in an immaculate manner divine life itself in the womb or depths of Mary's soul making her the Immaculate Conception, the human Immaculate Conception. And the virginal womb of Mary's body is kept 
sacred for him. There he conceives in time because everything that is material occurs in time. The human life of the man God. If among human beings the wife takes the name of her husband because she belongs to him, is one with him, becomes equal to him, and is with him the source of new life, with how much greater reason should the name of the Holy Spirit, who is the Divine Immaculate Conception, be used as the name of her in whom he lives as uncreated love, the principle of life in the whole supernatural order of grace. In light of this remarkable passage, I'd like to make three points. First, ponder it again, deeply and prayerfully. As you do, Keep in mind that these are the parting words of one of the greatest Marian saints of all time, answering the very question to which he dedicated his life and energies. Second, if it seems that Colbe has gone a bit overboard with this talk of Mary and her union with the Holy Spirit, don't worry. Pope Paul VI went out of his way to reassure the faithful that Colbe's teaching is sound. Third, if you only get one point from this challenging passage, may it be this. Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. In fact, her union with the Holy Spirit is even deeper than what we understand by a spousal relationship. We'll pick up this thread tomorrow. Today's Prayer Come Holy Spirit living in Mary, unveil for me the meaning of the Immaculate Conception. Amen. Let us now pray the litany. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Redeemer, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. 
vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriots, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the Family, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joy of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen.